State Workflow Engine. The Acumatica State Workflow Engine makes it easy to tailor standard workflows to automate unique business processes. Preferences screens, approval and assignment maps, and the State Workflow Engine work together so you can customize your deployment. In this video, I discuss and demonstrate the benefits of the new State Workflow Engine. Prior to 2020 R1, you could alter screen states, disable fields and actions, and introduce new actions using automation steps. The automation engine uses steps with conditions to define a screen state and control behavior. The problem was these steps were not always obvious and could not be controlled by code. The only way to make changes was to modify the screen you see here. This meant that automated workflow upgrades were not supported. To overcome these issues, Acumatica introduced the State Workflow Engine. The new workflow mechanism is a simple finite state machine. Using this engine, you can create multiple workflows for each Acumatica screen. Within a workflow, you define states as well as the actions and transitions that are available from and to that particular state. Approval workflows operate as subroutines of the main workflow. Approval maps give people in your organization the ability to configure approval processes without publishing a customization project. Workflow capabilities are automatically exposed on mobile phones. You can turn actions on or off using mobile menus. Workflows can be configured by power users or developed by coders. Whether built in the UI or Visual Studio, the resulting code is the same. Custom workflows are managed on top of core flows, so changes persist when you process an upgrade. The sales order screen has different workflows for each order type. In this example, we will customize the order type of IN to include a research step so consultants can create intellectual property before the order is ready to ship. To build the customization, I start with the initial state diagram and modify it. In this example, I need to add a new state called research, create two actions to trigger new, two new transitions, uh, deactivate existing transitions so people cannot bypass the research state, and modify the initial state from open to on hold. The default workflow for sales order type IN starts in the open status and is designed to quickly create an invoice. I will update the behavior using this state automation engine. Automation states are defined inside a customization project. So I start the process by creating a new project and opening it. I want to customize the existing sales order flow. So I add the sales order screen to my project and create a new workflow for the IN type. In this example, I extend the existing base workflow of type IN. Once I create it, I activate the new workflow. To make changes, first I create a new state called research. In the sales order screen, the state is defined by the status field, so the system automatically creates a new status. If needed, I could change field values and visibility based on this state. To initiate my transitions, I create two new actions, one called send to research, and another called send to customer. I select the action type called workflow and set the category which defines where the action appears on the consolidated toolbar. I follow the same process for my second action. But in this case, I add the action to a processing screen. This allows me to process the screens in batch or schedule the process so that all documents in the specified state can be processed at once. To begin defining my transitions, I navigate to my custom workflow and switch to the diagram view. I create transitions from the hold state to the research state and from research to open. These are user-initiated transitions. If needed, I could define conditions which automatically trigger transition when the conditions are met. Next, I click on transitions that I need to modify so that they go through my research step. In this example, I simply deactivate the release from hold transition since I already defined a transition from hold to research. 
Recall that the initial state of the IN flow was open. I want to change that to on hold. To accomplish this, I deactivate the initialize state that goes directly to open and remove the condition to trigger the on hold state. This completes the basic configuration steps, but before publishing my project, I want to configure my action buttons to guide users. When the document's on hold, I set the research action to appear in the toolbar and select the success connotation so my button appears in a green color. I can configure buttons on any state, including the new research state that I just created. With everything complete, I publish my project. I'll speed up the video until this completes. Now that my customization is published, I can begin testing. To do this, I create a new sales order and switch the order type to IN. As expected, the new workflow appears. Notice that the research action appears as a green button on the toolbar. When I click research, the state switches and the available actions change. So far, so good. The solution is performing as expected for just the basic scenarios. Acumatica started migrating to the state workflow engine in 2021 R1. Now, all screens except sales quotes and a few manufacturing screens have been converted. When migrating to the new engine, you must redevelop any workflow configuration you made using the old automation step screen. We will continue adding new features, including the ability to modify financial screen workflows, simplify workflows using composite states, trigger business events from workflows, provide audit support for workflow transitions, and improve overall performance. The new state automation engine allows both power users and coders to rapidly create and modify workflows to replicate existing business processes, and is another example of how Acumatica's platform enables rapid and efficient transformation to a digital world. For more information about Acumatica, visit our website or contact an Acumatica partner. Thank <music> you.